Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at the concept of the cosmological principle. What is that? Well, the idea always was, what does the universe look like if we go far enough away from where we are? Does the universe look the same? Does it look different? And back around the turn of the 19th to 20th century, when we started getting better and bigger telescopes and started being able to look further and further into space, we began to realize that the universe is vast and the universe seemed to be the same everywhere we look. And so Einstein came up with the concept as well where he thought, wow, I believe that the universe is what we call homogeneous. What does that mean? Well, let's say that we live right here in our universe right there and we look all around us and the universe seems to look pretty well the same everywhere we look in different directions. Would that be the same if we, looked, if we lived somewhere else in the universe billions of light years away? And the concept was because we thought that the universe was homogeneous, which means that no matter where in the universe you might live, somewhere else billions of light years away you look around and you say wow the universe looks about the same everywhere here as well and then you move to a different place you look around and say wow the universe looks the same everywhere we look so what it appeared was that the universe was indeed homogeneous that there was no special region in the universe that looked different from any other regions now at small scales that's of course true in some cases there's more galaxies in other cases there's less galaxies the density goes up and down but a large scale Einstein assumed no I don't think that's the case the universe is pretty well homogeneous anywhere you look at a large scale. Also, we thought that the universe was isotropic. What does isotropic mean? Is that the universe seems to look the same no matter which direction we look. For example, here we are on the Earth, we look through our telescopes, we appear in every different direction, and no matter where we look, the universe appears to look the same in any line of sight. So therefore, we say the universe is homogeneous and the universe is isotropic. So, does that mean that we live in a special place somewhere in the universe? Not really, because we wouldn't be able to tell the difference if we lived here, here, or there. So there's no such thing as a special place. Where we live in our universe and our galaxy could be just like any other galaxy in the universe in any other region of the universe. So there's no special place that we occupy. Which then, comes, which then brings the conclusion, do we live at the center or don't we? Is there such a thing as a center? Even if we don't live at the center of the universe, is there a center of the universe? And when Hubble began to study the universe and began to realize that the universe was expanding, where everything seemed to be moving away from us, that really seemed to indicate that, yes, we're at the center right here. Let's say we're right here, and we see all the galaxies expanding away from us. And so the first inclination was to say, wow, maybe we are at the center of the universe and everything else moves away from us. But that's not the case at all because we could move to a very different galaxy. And guess what? That person on that galaxy would see the whole universe moving away in all different directions as well. We can move to this galaxy right here, and this person would see the universe moving away in all directions in the very same way. So it really didn't matter where you would stand in the universe, Hubble law and Hubble constant would act exactly the same. Again, Hubble law indicated that we are not, not at the center of the universe. It turned out there was no indication based upon the fact that the universe is homogeneous, isotropic, and Hubble law, we could conclude there is no center of the universe. Everything looks the same, and that is considered to be the cosmological principle. There's no special place, there's no center, there's no one place that's any different from any other place in the universe. And that is very amazing. That's called the cosmological principle.